Hello humans and future AI overlords. I'm using Safari. You can see I'm at google.com. I don't use google.com hardly anymore. I mean like it used to be my everything and now it is so little. It is so little of my world. Um, but uh, it still very much powers uh, one of the tools I do use quite a bit called Gemini by Google. And there is an update that I would like to explore with you. So I'm seeing this for the first time. Um, so it says, get more helpful responses from Gemini. Uh, just say, and then it's got options here. Um, you know, remember that I don't own a car. You know, don't forget that I'm an English teacher. Always give me a vegetarian recipe. Remember that I don't own a car. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we've got some repeating things here. Um, get help that's unique to you. Ask Gemini to remember info about your life, work, or preferences. You control what Gemini remembers. Gemini only saves info when you ask. Manage saved info on this page. All right, so we've got info you ask Gemini to save. There's a little... So info is saved until you delete it. You can turn this off at any time. Learn how saved info is used. Okay, let's click on that. I love clicking things. Okay, so um, now this is users of Gemini Advanced. So this feature, if you're using the free version, uh, this, is not, uh, this is not available for you as well. Um, yeah, we've got some info on gems. Um, I uh, did a little uh, thing about that a while ago. So yeah, so it looks like there's popular topics around uh, Gemini and um, uh, we'll come back to this. So anyway, um, info you asked Gemini to save. So share info about your life and preferences to get more helpful responses. Add new info here or ask Gemini to remember something during a chat. Ooh, ask Gemini to remember something during a chat. So you're in the middle of a chat and I'm guessing you can tell Gemini remember this. Interesting. For now, this feature is only available in English. Okay, so we've got an add button and we've got a show examples. So it can say, I, I haven't asked Gemini to save anything about me yet. So show examples. So it says, use sim okay, examples. Use simple language and avoid jargon. I love jargon though. So, I mean, you know, like, uh, I mean, I love a good, you know, acronym that's confusing, you know, sometimes, I don't know. Like, you know, it's, uh, I typically love it. There are times when I don't. But uh, anyway, uh, another example is I'm a vegetarian, so don't suggest recipes with meat. I love that. I, you know, like, I, um, I think that's great. If you've got allergies to things, this is perfect. Um, after responding, include a Spanish translation. Oh, that is so good for people where English isn't their primary language and they would like a translation to augment what they're seeing. That is super cool. I dig that. Okay, when trip planning, include the cost per day. That's pretty cool. And then, oh, uh, another example is I can only write code in JavaScript. So uh, I think this is definitely really relevant if you want, um, you know, the context of you're using this for work and you want, you know, doing code generation, you want it to give you, uh, you know, something in your process. I prefer, another one is and I prefer short, concise responses. Now, um, this is one of those ones where sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You know, it's so unique. I, I, so, I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, it depends on the context. You know, when I'm using an AI to do something, there are times when I'm just like, give me a short response on this. Uh, and then there's times when I want, like, I want the full, you know, um, you know, thousand page, you know, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't give me that, but, uh, you know, but I want like all the, all, all the stuff, all the details, all the information, because um, sometimes it's really helpful and then you dive deeper. But anyway, these are very cool examples. So you click the add button and then you could say, what do you want Google to remember? So um, this is really, this is really interesting. I kind of, uh, I don't, you know, I'm a little bit like, I, I kind of like don't know exactly where to begin. I mean, this is definitely a, a personalization through memory kind of function. 
Um, and it's funny because I was thinking like they should just call this Google Gemini Remember. Like, yeah, like, like you know, but it's, uh, you know, it's called Saved Info is what they refer to it as. And I guess that makes sense because it's information you ask Gemini to save. Um, and then, um, um, so it's going to provide, you know, it's going to personalize stuff. It's going to tailor responses and, and our preferences for diet and habit or work or hobbies, you know. Um, and what's cool is like, like, I mean, we can view it, edit, delete the information, modify it as we go. I think that's awesome. Um, and, and like I said earlier, it's definitely something that you have to have Gemini Advanced. So I've got a little Gemini Advanced subscription up here. Uh, that is, at least as of today, like 20 bucks a month. Um, and um, But I think this is a good feature. Um, this is definitely reminds me of the, um, the how ChatGPT has that personalization feature. Uh, where you can give it, you know, the same kind of context. This is very, very similar to that. Like, uh, ChatGPT's had that for, for quite some time, you know. Um, so uh, it's interesting that this is coming here. But um, um, but it seems like a super simple, easy to use uh, tool. Um, and uh, let's see here. Why don't we just go into Gemini? I'm going to click Done here. I'm going to ask it, will you... Remember that I don't like mushrooms. Okay, and I'm gonna say I don't like to eat mushrooms. So I'm gonna put this in here. And I'm, I'm telling this, I don't know. Okay, and look, oh, it says, okay, I'll remember that. Love it, info saved until you delete it. So if I go into the saved info, I'm gonna refresh this. I don't like to eat mushrooms, dude, that's cool. Okay, I love that it's that simple. So basically you just gotta tell it, remember this, or come in here and manually add it. You know, so, um, you know, um, I think this is a, you know, this is a, I think this, I think this could be a, a game changer because it's, it's something where, you know, there's times when I'm like going, why do I have to tell you this again, you know, kind of a thing. But this is where, uh, this is sort of like your, you know, information about you that isn't in the context of like a, a, a Google Gemini gem where you're you're creating a, a, a primed prompt uh, with context and, and information that you need. This is, you know, how do you want AI to um, to remember you? You know, how do you what do you want? You know, you know, I mean, it's I think this is a super cool feature. I'm definitely going to explore how to use this. Um, I think it's something where um, gems are great for those context prompts that you want to do. But um, and I'm curious if if gems um, if this overwrites anything in the gem. So that'll be an interesting thing to explore too. So you've got these gem prompts, and maybe you're not limiting it your prompt to a I don't like deep mushrooms and. Uh, um, you know, or whatever it is about yourself that you want, you know. Um, I think some of the examples they provide are are, are great, um, you know, uh, language, food choice, uh, translation is brilliant, um, you know, trip costs, you know, um, what language you, you, you code in, and then um, do you want you know, the type of responses you want. So that'll be interesting. I, I'm curious how this could impact gems back and forth. But I think this is a great feature and something that definitely I think you know they, that the Gemini is needed. Um, I, I'm I'm curious what the kind of development you know sort of um, you know functional list that that Google's been working on for Gemini. I'm sure it's massive and like highly complex, uh, but this definitely feels like one of those you know one of those ones that that that, sh that should have been here um, you know a little bit sooner. But yeah, I'm gonna explore it. So uh, thanks for. Um, Joining me, this was just a super quick, hey, uh, you know, this is a great feature and I think it's a uh, Google Gemini saved info, but I'm gonna call it Google Gemini Remember and it's gonna remember me, which is cool. So Google Ge Gemini Remember Me and um, you know, see how this really impacts the way I work, if it makes things easier. I definitely say how it could in certain contexts, things you, you know, things you're allergic to, things that you just don't prefer, you know. Um, so that's going to be that's going to be very interesting to see how that how that interacts. 
Um, and then does that exclude things? I mean, obviously, like, you know, uh, you're going to ask it to help you, you know, create a pizza and hopefully it doesn't create a pizza with mushrooms on it because I've got this on here. And I wonder what the scope of the amount of info, because there's so much personalization you could put in here. Um, because humans are complex, it'll be interesting to see how that evolves, if you can stack or prioritize things, I don't know, or kind of an if-then kind of thing where it's like, hey, you know, um, I don't like this in this context, you know, like some people like maybe, maybe they don't like mushrooms, but they don't just like, they, they don't like mushrooms, you know, as like a, a separate food item, but they'll eat it on pizza or they'll eat it inside of lasagna or something like that. I am one of those people, I do not like mushrooms, I don't want them anywhere far away from me if they didn't exist in my world you know i'm sure i know they have got lots of uh lots of people love them i know that they're really good uh you know in lots of uh, natural and medical uh use cases and stuff so i'm glad they're here i just don't want to have them for breakfast lunch or dinner or snack so anyway well thank you for joining me and um have fun uh you know uh you know, telling google about you um this is one of those things where it's like, ooh, Google knows a lot about me, but this is, you know, this is to help you make your prompts better, to make your responses better, to have those better conversations. Like having a friend that that knows I don't like to eat mushrooms, and so they stop bringing it up all the time that, that I want to eat mushrooms. Like, no, nah, I don't, I don't want those things, um, you know. But uh, anyway, have a great day, and see you in the next video.